Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. The Christian life is not designed just for an individual. It's not a lonely walk. It's not something just we do personally. It's something we do also with other people. Because we are not the only Christian, there are other people. We are not the only child of God. God has other children. And God wants his children to be together. It's simply like a, a father who has children. You don't want your children at home. Everybody stay in their room. Everybody stay in their corner. I, the family never sits at breakfast. They never sit together to have a meal. They don't sit around to have a chat because everybody is just in their space. That, that's not how a family runs and that's not how God's family also runs. The Christian life is not just an individualistic life. And so Jesus is talking to his disciples and he says where two or three are gathered together. Two or three is the smallest number of, of individuals who are gathered together. But he says even if you're two, you have to gather together. If you're three, you have to gather together. Of course, if you are 10 and 20 and 1,000 or more, you still have to gather together. So the gathering together is important. And I know that most of you I would say, you know, I, I, I believe God is in my heart, Christ is in my heart. I, I just want my quiet and I, I want to have my peace. That's not how anybody works. That's not how a family works. And that's not how Christianity works. You have to gather together. So this year, one of the things you have to commit yourself to is to be in the gathering of other believers. And normally we call that gathering church. That means you have to go to church physically. If there is for some reason uh, a crisis so you cannot go to church, of course you can worship alone in your room online and, and participate in a service. But if there's no crisis and there's no emergency in your life, you have to gather together with other believers. And it is so important for our Christian life that that happens. Just like it's important for a family to gather together and it's family for workers to gather together, it's important for Christians to gather together. And Jesus says, when they so do gather, I'm there in their midst. You know, people would say, well, but God is in us. Christ is in me. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, does it mean if I don't gather together with other believers, Christ is not there? This being in their midst is not just about his presence, but it's also about his manifest presence. So when we gather together, he's present in us, but not just present in a stationary way, but he's present in a manifested way. When Christ lives in us, he lives in us, he's in us. But when we gather around with other believers, he lives in us and manifests himself. It is in the company of other believers that we see the manifestation of Christ. Of course, that's where we see the greatest thing he says we should manifest, that is his love. You cannot just be in, by yourself alone and love yourself. <laughs> you have to be with other people uh, so that love can work. And love sometimes is a risky business because in loving people you get hurt and, and you get disappointed. But that's what love is. You learn to forgive, you learn to overcome pain and you learn to overcome all kinds of things that happen to you. That's how you grow in love. You don't grow in love by being in your corner, not being hurt, not being offended. You're going to be offended. You're going to forgive. You're going to get along with your other brothers and sisters in Christ. That is true love. And that's how we manifest Christ. And of course, the power of Christ is manifested in the agreement of prayer of the believers. So if you're going to do anything in this year as you gather, don't just gather things, gather yourself where believers are gathered. Be physically in church, be part of the church and what the church is doing and let Christ be glorified in our lives. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are present in the gathering of your people. Manifest your glory through us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, I'm going to catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.